And this has been going like this for about 10 hours now. The crews have started the repairs, but as you say, it is going to take a while longer. And the fire chief in the meantime says he's in no rush to put this fire out. Flames leapt 30 feet in the air and lapped at nearby homes and trees along Plain Street in Marshfield after a main gas line six inches in diameter caught fire and exploded. Some neighbors heard a boom, others more of a burbling sound. It was this really weird bloop, 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 bloop sound. And I, I don't know, after the fourth time, I got nervous. I came outside. I said, something, something's bad is going on. I couldn't even tell you how many calls we got. It was just, no, like, countless. Fire crews found a fallen power wire near the fire and think that might have ignited a leak from the gas line, which is several feet underground. I'm sure it isn't coincidental. Something has, it has something to do with it. The fire chief says his crews have been spraying water to keep the fire from spreading, but they do not want to put the fire out, not until Eversource crews first shut off the gas. First time in my career, I want to see a fire burn, burn, burn. Uh, it's the best thing for us right now is to keep it where it is, let it burn, because if that fire goes out, You've got all that gas that's going to run through these neighborhoods. The chief says Eversource could not find a nearby valve, so they're going to dig trenches on both sides of the fire and clamp the pipe shut. In the meantime, about a dozen families have been asked to stay out of their homes. Officials say without this weekend's rainy weather, the fire could have been even worse. With that big flame being so close to trees, because everything's saturated with water, it's sort of nature helping out. In fact, the rainy weather helped out in another way as well by keeping traffic down in the area. If this had been a warm, sunny Saturday, particularly a holiday weekend, well, then this road would have been clogged with people trying to get to the beach. Live in Marshfield, David Beening, WCVB News Center 5.